People are great at keeping secrets, especially when they're secrets like murder. I just stood on the corner and I screamed to the top of my lungs. No parent should ever bury their child. This killer is still out there. Murdering. He's walking around Denver just as though he hasn't done anything. The Cold Case Unit is responsible for investigating unsolved homicides that occurred in Denver. In general, cold cases are defined as a case that's unsolved for a year or longer. Sometimes a fresh set of eyes can see something that has been there all along or see something in a different light and gives us another angle to potentially investigate that case. This is Denver Police Department case number 1995-696-688, which is the cold case homicide investigation of Andre Price, which occurred on June 27, 1995. Andre was shot in the 5500 block of Yuba Way. He was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced shortly after arrival. Andre was my firstborn, my son. He was just everything to me. Andre was my uh, son. He just had it. He was a sharp young man. Andre is my stepson, this little boy, just so full of energy. We spent like pretty much every day together. He was my best friend. On June 27, 1995, District 5 officers were dispatched to 5563 Yuba Way on a shooting. Just before 10 p.m., three black males approach the house from Randolph. When they got to about here, Andre and the other two victims were out front. There was a brief verbal exchange and shots were fired. This day it had rained. It had rained in different parts of town that day. He came in and he says, Mom, he said, can you watch Desiree, which was his daughter? He says, I wanted to go hang out with my cousins. And then I get a phone call about 10, 10.30 and they said Andre had gotten shot. My wife called me and uh, she let me know there was a problem. And I said, we gotta go. Andre's at the hospital, something happened. I was told that my brother was in the hospital and I said, okay, because that's my big brother. He, he can handle anything, he'll be okay. When I got to the hospital that night for Andre, I already knew, I knew before I went in. They hadn't taken Andre down to the morgue yet. But when I walked through the door, they had him uh, split open. You already know. The fire department told me he died on them in the streets that they, he died for it. Yeah. And it still hurts me right now today because I don't know who killed my child. It's been 20, 22 years, June 27. I don't know who killed him. I need to know. They say you can't bring him back, but I know I can't bring him back, but I would still like to know, you know, all this senseless killing don't make sense. Who did this day destroyed our family. And I just want justice. He had all the potential in the world his life was just taken much too soon. We have a lot of witnesses that night that I believe know more than what they're telling us. Just a small piece of information that they have not shared with us could be exactly what we need. Anybody out there, any witnesses or anybody that has information on this case, call Crime Stoppers, leave that information. You can do it anonymously. You took my only son. I want their only son, if they have one, so they can feel the pain and the hurt that I went through, and I'm still going through. I just need to know. I'm asking now. I need your help.